A. So, welcome to Math Storia and let's have this problem. So, Gilbert availed of a cash loan that gave him an option to pay 10,000 pesos monthly for one year. Then the first payment is due in six months. So, how much is the present value of the loan if the interest rate is 12% converted monthly? So, first, we need to list all the given. So, for the regular payment, so we have this 10,000 pesos. So, the regular payment is 10,000. And for this payment interval, since monthly, so therefore, M is equal to 12. And for the rate, that's 12%. Then, convert this one to decimal, that's 0.12. And for the time, since for one year, so therefore the time is equal to 1. Then for the number of periods, so that's M times the time. So M is 12 and time is 1. So 12 times 1, so the number of periods, that's 12. Then for the interest per period, that's the rate over the payment interval. So, the rate is 0 0.12 and the payment interval is 12. So, 0 0.12 divided by 12, that's 0 0.01. Then, for this uh, periods of deferral, since the payment interval is monthly and due in 6 months, so therefore, to find the periods of deferral, we just need to subtract 1 from 6 months so, the periods of deferral is 5 months or 5 periods. Then, to solve now for the present value using this formula, so substitute now all the values. So, we have this, the uh, regular payment or R, that's 10,000 pesos. Then, times 1, then minus 1 plus J. So, J is 0.01. Then to the power, negative k plus n. So negative k, k is 5 plus n, n is 12. Then over j, so that's 0 0.01. Then minus, so this r, so r is 10,000. Then times 1, minus 1 plus j, j is 0 0.01. Then to the power, negative k, so k is 5, so negative 5, then over j. Then to find now the present value, so we need to solve this one first. So we have this 1, then minus, so we can combine these two numbers. This one is 1.01, .01, so minus 1.01, then to the power, negative 5 plus 12 so that's 17 so to the power negative 17 then equals then divide by this point 0 1 so divide by 0 0.01 then equals then times times this 10,000 so times 10,000 equals so this one is equal to 155,622.51. So 155,622.51. Then minus, then solve for this uh, equation. So the same process. So we have this one, then minus, so this 1.01. .01. So 1.01, .01, then to the power, this negative 5, then equals, then divide, divide by 0 0.01, so 0 0.01, then equals, then times this 10,000, so times 10,000 equals, so that's 48,534.31. So, 48,534.31. Then, to find now the present value, so we have this 155,622.51, then minus, 
this 48,534.31 equals so the present value is 107,088.2. So we have 107,088.20 pesos. So this is now the present value.